Good morning, my loves. I hope you're all well. Welcome to my monthly reset routine. Today we are saying goodbye to February and hello to March. I like to take the time at the end of each month to prepare for the brand new month ahead. It gives me a real chance to catch up on anything I've been putting off, review the previous month and think about some positive changes I could make, set some new intentions. I'm going to be setting some monthly goals, doing a little bit of cleaning and resetting my space. I'm also going to head over to Aldi and do a big healthy food shop, some food prep and of course some self-care. So by the end of this video we're going to be feeling good, we're going to be feeling ready for March. Looking forward to spending the day with you all and I hope this video gives you some motivation to have a self-care reset day. things i i look forward to putting this on every day it feels like a warm hug it feels like i'm wrapped in a duvet i mean it's called the duvet dressing gown it's just oh it's just, i just love it so much also my voice she's feeling she's not feeling great she's a little bit rusty and croaky it all came down with a cold at the end of last week and i'm over the worst of it now but it's just my voice she's not come back to me yet. So starting the morning with a little bit of self-care, I always find when I take the time to have a nice long hot shower, shave, moisturize, do like a really deep skincare routine. I just feel really good. And these mornings are rare. Let me tell you, like it's, it's a rarity that I get to do this. So on my little day that I put aside, for my monthly reset routine, I like to make sure that I make time for self-care and it's important to me to go into a new month feeling good. So, just about to start my skincare routine, I am feeling so grateful and so proud to say that this part of today's video is very kindly sponsored by Elemis. You guys know Elemis are one of my favourite skincare brands and they have been for years and years and years. Um, so I'm going to show you a few of my skincare favourites. These are bits and bobs that I use every single day, but then also some bits that I use on more of like a deep skincare day. I also have a discount code for you guys. Any kind of discount on Elemis products is rare, so I'm very excited about this. The discount code is Gemma25 and that will get you 25% off full size products, but it's only for this month. There are a few other T's and C's as well, which I will leave down below. Starting off my morning skincare with, I would say this is my favorite Elemis product. Like if I had to pick one, it would be this. I've been using it for years. It's the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. My favorite scent is the original one, the yellow one. So this is a balm. You need the tiniest little amount. It will last you such a long time. And it turns into, an oil when you rub it between your fingers and oh my goodness it leaves your skin it basically feels like your skin has had a nice big drink which is exactly what my skin needs this time of year it's so dry you can use the balm to cleanse clean skin another thing the balm is amazing for is to remove makeup it literally melts makeup off your face you can also use it as an intense um, hydrating mask so you can pop it on like this leave it on whilst you shower, leave it on whilst you're relaxing in the bath. When you rinse it off, your skin will feel so hydrated. It will be left so glowy. And yeah, it's one of those products that I am very confident to say I will use for the rest of my life. I have massaged that into my skin for probably about two minutes. I am just going to remove it with a damp, warm face cloth. These also are another one of my favorite things from Elemis, the um, 
little face cloths. You can get them in a pack of two and they're just so nice. I'm gonna double cleanse this morning and I'll do this when I remove makeup as well, just to give my skin a really deep clean. So a new favorite from Elemis is this Superfood Calm Cleansing Foam. I love a cleansing foam. I just feel like they're so satisfying to use and I feel like a foam really just gets into all of your pores. So, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of this on. This scent is so nice. Anything from the superfood range just has like a really, how can I describe it? A super fresh scent, but it it's like a healthy scent. Does that make sense? You feel healthy after using it. It would be a really nice product to add into your routine for spring. It's like one of those really fresh spring scents. And yeah, I just love how much it lathers up. Just gonna get a little bit of water. It feels like it's really cleaning all of my pores and my skin feels really lovely and fresh after using this. I have just rinsed that off as well. My skin is feeling literally squeaky clean. Part of my skincare routine is using one of the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Pads. Now, I actually ran out of these around Christmas time. Didn't have them for a few weeks. Oh my goodness, I noticed such a difference in my skin and just like how my skin feels after my skincare routine. So these are little pads and they are great for daily exfoliation. They are skin smoothing pads. They are so nice and refreshing. Like they feel so good in the morning, especially if you suffer with any kind of like puffiness on your skin. These are really refreshing. I actually keep these in the fridge, especially in the warmer months. So like spring, summer, I'll keep these in the fridge. They just help to wake you up in the morning, leave your skin feeling really smooth. And yeah, I like to use these, especially around my nose. Like in these bits of my nose, I feel like they can get quite congested. And each day, just giving like around my nose a good scrub. I feel like it just keeps it really clear of any like blackheads so any little crevices on my face it's great to just get in there and give it a really good clean next up i'm going to use my dynamic resurfacing super c serum and i pop just two pumps very tiny bit of this on before my moisturizer and i feel like this really brightens my skin it leaves it feeling like nice and tight, also really glowy. And I find like the layering of the products as well. If you're having a no makeup day, but you still want your skin to just be really glowy, look really fresh, this is really nice to pop on underneath your moisturizer. Then, speaking of moisturizer, I'm using another new product. So you guys know one of my top, top, top favourite moisturisers is the Elemis Marine Cream. If you're looking for something that is lightweight, really nourishing, gives your skin a gorgeous glow, great for a base for makeup, then the Marine Cream is for you. It's also like very gentle as well. Elemis have just brought out the Marine Cream in Rose. So same formula and everything as the original marine cream but this has added rose and my skin loves anything with rose in. If you ever suffer with redness, like sometimes I get redness around my cheeks and on my nose, rose really helps to reduce that, reduce the redness and kind of like balance my skin tone out. It smells so nice, very springy. This is a very spring moisturiser. And yeah, it leaves my skin feeling hydrated all day. But definitely not least is my superfood mist. This is nearly all gone. Love this so much. After I've done my skincare routine, I just give my face. Probably don't talk whilst you're spraying that Gemma. It's a little spritz and it just makes me feel so awake. This is also great for in the summer. You know when you feel all like hot and sticky and you feel like you just need a little bit of a refresh. Again, keep this in the fridge. Give your face a little spray, makes your skin feel hydrated and it just, it just gives me a new lease of life. It makes me feel alive again. If I'm ever feeling tired, ch -ch -ch -ch, I'm alive again. Yeah, that is my morning skincare done. I literally feel like I have just had a facial. My skin feels so clean, so glowy and yeah, this is just like the perfect combination of products for a no makeup day you want your skin to breathe but you also want it to like look 
like you've just had a face shimmer loves i will leave links for all of my elemis favorites down below like i said definitely take advantage of my elemis discount code because they don't come around often it is gemma 25 and that will get you 25 percent off first task of the day is to reset our space before i do so i'm popping on a podcast i'm listening to on purpose with jay shetty and the episode i listened to was all about how to be more productive which was very motivating especially on a day like today where i'm trying to get lots done so i like to set an hour timer to get household tasks done i find this helps so much i like to try and beat the clock and it gives me some motivation and it also stops me procrastinating and spending too much time cleaning because i've got lots of other bits that i want to get done today so i'm just popping the bed sheets in the wash so we can have fresh bed sheets going into a new month i am unloading and loading the dishwasher giving the kitchen a little refresh and just popping into each room and spending some time decluttering putting everything back into its space and having a quick hoover because tidy house equals tidy mind I have just spent the past few hours in my office just having a really big productive planning sesh. This is like therapy to me, like planning and making sure that I just am organised for work makes me feel really, really good. I've just been doing some video planning for March just so I kind of like know what I've got coming up. Um, I've also done a little brain dump as well. It's something I like to do each week. Anything in my mind, any kind of like video ideas, anything that I'm just like, I find myself thinking about a lot, um, any little bits and bobs that I need to remember to do, stuff on the shopping list that I need to remember to get in this week's food shop, I put in the brain dump because if I don't, I find my mind just feels really busy and I feel like I have a hundred tabs open in my brain. And by putting them all in a brain dump, I'm not necessarily doing anything with them, but I'm putting them there so I don't forget them. And then each day I can go into my brain dump and deal with each thing instead of them just like floating about in my mind. It really helps with um, anxiety. I find I get anxiety when I'm feeling overwhelmed with the amount of things in my brain. I feel like it's almost like storage full in my brain so brain dump is a really good thing to do if you find yourself getting overwhelmed if you find yourself getting anxious um or if you just have things that you don't want to forget also been going through a to-do list that i've literally had since the beginning of the year and we're now nearly in march and on my monthly to-do list i've just had a few like tedious work bits i've needed to book a call with my accountants for the longest time i need to go through my business tax return and just make sure all of that's okay i also need to change a few bits on the pet insurance change a few bits on my car insurance i need to swap a few like bank details over i've just got like little bits and bobs to do like that and i hate those kind of tasks because i find they take like quite I take up quite a bit of time but i feel like i've not done anything um, so I always just put them off and put them off and they've been on my to-do list since January and I've just sorted them. So we're not taking them into March. We are not doing that anymore. If I have a monthly to-do list, it needs to be done by the end of that month. So I feel already really good for that. Like I feel 
accomplished and I'm I'm happy to not have those things kind of like looming over me and I'm going to stop doing the monthly to-do list too because I feel like they're just always things that I don't really want to do and I have no intention of doing but I put them on my to-do list anyway. So feeling good, feeling productive. I've also just spent the last hour writing some March goals. Now, I used to love a monthly goal. I used to religiously write monthly goals every single month. It gave me something to work towards. It kept me motivated. It gave me a purpose. And um, yeah, I just really, I really enjoyed it. I still really want to be that person, but my life has changed so much in the past year, like, honestly, since having Noah, like, my monthly goals have just gone out the window, because for the past, kind of, like, I'd probably say the past, up until, like, the past month, really, I have just been surviving, I have had no energy for monthly goals, no motivation, no interest, but I feel like I'm now nine months postpartum and I actually feel like I am feeling normal. For the first time in nine months, I feel like I'm actually like excited to have monthly goals, wanna be productive, like I'm feeling good guys. So a few of my goals for March are, these are my four like main life goals. Um, I have a few financial goals and work goals and bits and bobs like that. First one is I would like to get my social life back. I mean, I say get my social life back. Have I ever had a social life? I feel like I'm just hermit for life. And I actually do really enjoy that. Like, I'm not sad about that at all. I can't remember the last time I went to any kind of social gathering. The only social gathering I've been to recently is soft play. So the goal is, nothing crazy, this might sound really silly to some of you but I don't get out much um honestly like my life is just mum life right now so my goal is I would like to see my friends two to three times a month like is achievable I think if I was to say I want to see my friends every single Friday it's just not gonna happen so yeah I've made some plans for this month I'm gonna see some of my pals um even if it's something like going for a walk little Starbucks day I just feel like my soul needs that so that's my first goal create a social life can you guys guess what my next goal is I feel like this has been my life goal since about 2016 I really want to each week I want to declu declutter a part of our home and organize it because that really makes me feel good like having an organized space and like having a, a clutter clutter free home makes me so happy so i need to invest more time into that like i put it at the bottom of my priority list all the time but i think it needs to actually be near the top because it makes me more productive my space being clear so that's something i really need to really really need to this month Gemma. this is the year <laughs> i need to make more of an effort with that next goal is I would like to make more of an effort to become a more present mother. I feel like I'm already very present with Noah because I I really cherish our days together um, and he grows so quickly. Each day he's changing at the moment. Um, <laughs> why do I feel like I'm about to cry? Honestly, just... Uh, uh, why do I feel like I'm going to cry? It just... He's changed so much at the minute and I feel like time is just going too quick and I'm like, you need to stop growing. So I do feel like I'm already quite, what is wrong with me? <laughs> oh no, a tear. I have shed a tear. Oh dear. I need to work out a better routine where I have set work days and set mum days. I don't want to be not present with Noah. I don't want to be in Noah's company and be thinking about work and like I, I want to be able to be with Noah and forget about everything else around me and just soak every second up with him. So that's something I, I need to work on. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that yet um, but I'm, I'm thinking having a better routine. I'm thinking about adding like I'm going to call them mum days even though every day is a mum day. I'm thinking of having set mum days where I don't do anything work related, I don't film, I don't do anything on my phone. It's really hard because my work is my life, it's really hard to find a balance. And then my main, main goal 
this month is I need to get into a healthy lifestyle. This is the month, it's time. But like January and February have been like easing myself back into this and just kind of like not putting too much pressure on myself. But we booked our first family holiday the other day. Um, we are going to Greece in May. And it suddenly dawned upon me that May is two months away. And I, I really wanna feel nice on holiday. Like I just wanna feel like nice and healthy. Um, I'm just like good in myself and I, I don't feel like that right now. I just feel a little bit like, ugh. But yeah, March is the month of health. I just need to get back on my food prep properly. Um, I need to get back into healthy eating. Um, stop baking so many delicious baked goods because I just eat them all. I also really need to get back into an exercise routine because at the moment I get out of breath from walking up the stairs and that, that's just not good. Um, but these these things these are the things that I feel like just haven't been a priority for me um, over the past few months. Like I said, this is the first month I actually feel like I want to start getting back into everything. So yeah, they are my main goals for March. It's going to be a good month. Um, but yeah, speaking of healthy lifestyle, my next thing to tick off my to do list today is we are going to head over to Aldi and do a big healthy weekly food shop. This is obviously something I do every week, but I like to go into the new month just with like a fully stocked fridge. I wanna do some food prep this afternoon and make my lemon and ginger tonic for the week. And yeah, I just feel like I, I wanna do all of this today. So we're setting intentions, we're setting good intentions to follow through. Um, that's what today is all about. So yeah, let's finish up here and then we will head over to Audi. I have just got home from Aldi, so I thought I could share a little weekly food shopping haul. All of this came to £67, which I think is actually so good for the amount of bits that I got. So I mainly got lunch, snacks and like cupboard bits, because we've got HelloFresh for dinner this week, so we didn't need too many dinner bits. So as March is the month of spring, I thought I would pick up some fresh flowers. So I got these tulips, which is so beautiful. I got some white ones and some orange ones. And I think this might be a new little monthly treat to myself in my little reset routine. Pick up some fresh flowers from the shop. Then I got some strawberries, peppers, broccoli, avocados, coriander, bananas. Then I picked up Noah these little yogurts, which he loves. They're basically exactly the same as the Petit Flu yogurts, um, but the Aldi version. I got these from the, you know where all the sandwiches are? Some peri peri chicken wrap. Just thought these would be a really easy lunch. So I got Jamie and I one of those, which we'll probably have tomorrow. I got these little on the go tuna salad things, which I've never tried. I got two honey and ginger ones, and then an Indian one to try. I thought they looked really nice. And these were in the, you know, the middle bit of Aldi, where you can find things like saws and tents and <laughs> tuna salad. I also picked up two of these Sri Lankan inspired chicken laska soup. I had this the other week and it was so nice and filling. And a really lovely, like wholesome, warm lunch. So I got two of those. And then also for lunches, I got some hummus, some tzatziki, baby cucumbers, carrot batons and then some of these katsu style falafels which i thought looked really yummy and i thought we could have our little lunch butters i love to make those in spring summer oh i got these prawn cali rolls which i think i'm gonna have today i really was in the mood for sushi and aldi have got such a great selection of sushi so they look really yummy then i picked up this chinese chicken stir fry kit you can add rice or noodles we'll probably add noodles because i love a noodle stir fry again very quick and easy either lunch or dinner these baby potatoes are oh my goodness 
the best. One of my favorite foods. We love having these with salmon and some veg. They're just, I know they look like just flavored potatoes, but the marinade, oh, it's like, it's like nothing else I've ever tasted. It's so delicious. So if you see these in Aldi, it's actually rare that they have these these days. So pick a few packets of these up. They also last for a really long time as well. Sale by date is always really long. 16th of April you can keep these till. And I got some of the chocolate protein puddings. They didn't have the mousse. I was absolutely gutted. And I've seen they've got a strawberry one. I love anything strawberry flavored. So I was really hoping to get some of those today. We had the chocolate ones in our last food shop and they were just so yummy um, but they didn't have any this time so we will try again next time but I picked up two of the protein puddings these are really nice with fresh strawberries like in a bowl fresh strawberries cut up and then maybe even a sprinkle of desiccated coconut that's such a like yummy healthy dessert then I got some of this Greek style yogurt I love to have this on porridge or again with some fresh fruits little bits for Noah which I thought would be great whenever we go out for the day I find it like a lot easier to just take one of these and then I maybe take him like an overnight oat pack and then some snacks. So I got some veggie pasta and then this tropical chickpeas with rice. He can try those. Probably hate them because this happens with anything vegetable related I buy. He's like, nope, I don't want that. Protein oats. I would say these are my favorite thing from Aldi. These are so good. You just pop boiling water to the line, leave it for a few minutes. Most oh, delicious porridge, it's full of protein. I usually slice up a banana in here as well. Such a filling, easy breakfast. Then I picked up the sweet cinnamon flavor to try as well. Then, couldn't resist, these were down the Easter aisle. Love how I'm like, March is the month of health. Also Gemma buys herself a Reese's bunny. <laughs> Very much looking forward to eating this. Might eat this tonight because it's not technically March yet. <laughs> um, life is all about balance. If you want the chocolate bunny, get the chocolate bunny. Then I got some of these little zip seal bags. Really useful to have and we ran out of those. I got some skinny whips. These are so delicious. The toffee flavour is my favourite but we also got the chocolate orange flavour to try. Then down the little random aisle, I got these Trek bars. These are my favorite. The salted caramel and the white chocolate raspberry. It's such a yummy, healthy, filling snack, and again, filled with protein. So yeah, that is everything I picked up from this week's Aldi food shop. Starting with some overnight oats for today's food prep. I love having one of these to reach for in the mornings. Super easy to make. All you need is half a cup of rolled oats, half a cup of Greek yogurt. You can use plain or flavored Greek yogurt, whichever you prefer. Then half a cup of milk. I like to use coconut milk, but again, use whatever milk you like. Then I like to add a teaspoon of chia seeds and some honey. Then in the morning when I get my overnight oats out the fridge, I like to top it with lots of fresh fruit. I am also making a fresh batch of lemon and ginger tonic for the week. I bought these little shop containers from Amazon which are reusable and perfect for my lemon and ginger shots. I have one of these every single morning as they have so many health benefits. They help with digestion, they reduce bloating, 
boosts your immune system and also helps to soothe an upset stomach. So I like to make a batch of this, pop it in my little shot containers and then have one of these on an empty stomach every morning. We are ending a very productive day with a self-care evening. I made Jamie and I a wholesome, yummy dinner. We had sausage mash and gravy. Then I ran myself a little candlelit bubble bath, popped on a hair mask and a face mask, and it was time to relax. fresh pyjamas with clean hair after a face mask and a hair mask and a bath I just I just feel like life doesn't get much better than this <laughs> oh my god fresh bed sheets are my favorite like it's one of those things when I put the bedding in the wash I just I mean I can't wait to get into bed at the end of the day anyway but when we have clean sheets I'm just oh, I'm so excited for the the clean sheet feeling simple things in life make me happy but yeah i'm feeling so good after today it's actually the 28th of february today so tomorrow is the first of march and i'm feeling ready feeling ready for a new month feeling in a really good headspace feeling positive i've got my goals set um and yeah i've had like a really a really good day relaxing self-care day but also really productive and i feel like i've got a lot done and yeah i feel good just been doing a little bit of planning on my ipad and i was just having a little look at pinterest and something popped up and i i just felt like it was very fitting to the day that we've had today and i wanted to read it to you guys because it's one of those things you read and you're just you know and it just like really makes sense and it really resonates with you so i'll pop it on screen somewhere just in case you guys want to screen grab it but it says how to change your life in one year number one wake up before 9 a.m two exercise daily do any form of exercise that you love three surround yourself with people you uplift you hmm? i think that's meant to say who uplift you surround yourself with people who uplift you and inspire you to be a better person i feel like that one is so important number four eat foods that fuel your body and make you feel good eat more vegetables and whole foods note to self i am just about to eat my peanut butter bunny number five keep your space organized and clean tidy it up before bed every night that one for me is like so important even though we have no one out and it's quite hard to keep on top of the house and keeping it tidy i will always make sure everything is tidy especially the kitchen before we go to bed because for me if i go downstairs in the morning to make my morning coffee and there's dishes that need to be done and the kitchen's a mess it instantly like sets me up for a bad day so i feel like the tidying up before you go to bed is really important number six journal about your goals thoughts and feelings so that's almost like the brain dump that i did earlier just to get everything out um so i feel like my mind is a lot clearer 
and then number seven commit to the goals you want to accomplish tick we've done that today and number eight follow accounts who inspire you and make you feel better after you see their posts so yeah i spotted that on pinterest and i read it and i just thought it was so fitting for today and going into a new month yeah i really hope you have enjoyed spending the day with me happy march for tomorrow actually by the time you guys are watching this it will already be march um but i hope you're all having a lovely start to the month don't feel like it's too late set yourself some goals for this month it's never too late for anything anyway my loves jamie's gonna come to bed now as well and we're gonna watch outer banks the new season of outer banks is on and we've been rationing the episodes to one a night because we just love it so much and we never want it to end so we're currently on episode four we've got six to go and we're absolutely loving it i look forward to it all day so we're gonna eat our um reese's bunnies and watch how to banks thank you all so much for joining me today and i will catch up with you all on sunday for a big weekly vlog na night -na. Na -na. my voice will it ever go back to normal at this point night guys Bye.